Hello, I'm Dr. Christopher Kevin Slayton, citizen scientist with the Breast Institute of Focused Learning, and I'm talking about brain talk because the brain talker, and I want you to understand what I mean by that. We're in the 21st century. We are way into the information processing age, and we're growing children up in the technological environment but they're not being treated as technologies themselves. So when you pick up my new book or when you come to my seminars, that's what I'm talking about. The transition of children from the industrial age. Yes, it still feels like that because we're not treating our children as technologies. And that's why brain talk is very important because it allows you to realize the neural systems of the brain, body, and senses that we utilize, which is our technologies, and a child's advancement, whether they're athletes or whether they're astute scholars. They have to move through brain, body, and sense signals. And when you try to talk to the child, the child needs to understand that you're aiming the information flow at their brain, their neural systems, and that they're supposed to encode and decode and that's the complexity when you have a damaged sense and receive path. The child has to know why they're having difficulty receiving the information and processing the experience of your contact, your interaction. And it's not, it's not that complicated. They're watching TV, they're playing the games, and they can see the isometrics right in front of them. No, let me go back to the neural systems right in front of them. The way information is being transferred is not the way you talk about cognition. For example, I say contact, interaction, because interaction is processing. But that is not talk about the brain because that's what we have to talk about. To let child, children know they have a built-in problem-solving toolkit. And that's what I'll be talking about the human system science toolkit. And that involves understanding the brain's body, understanding brain talk, how the brain talks back, and understanding reflective thinking, which allows them to clear space to problem solve when they're upset by major life events. Be cool, calm, and collect a sense of feel. A sense of feel is the neurological connection to brain, body, and sense signals that allow you to operate your technologies. And your technologies allow you to move through static memory and emotion. So where you were just having these emotional upsets, outbursts, and so forth and so on, you begin to understand how to be cool, calm, and collect a sense of feel for the moment. Reflection, allowing it to kick in. And as that reflection kicks in, you begin to understand what happened, why it happened. Reflective storytelling. The brain tells the story. I'm saying that you and I, as we engage in whatever we engage in, conflict or resolution, we have reflective capacity to feed information forward that allows us to have the insight to get in front of our anger, fear, and anxiety. And that's the brain. So we talk about the brain, not the body. And that's what we have to start talking to children about so they can begin to navigate this crucial inner sense of feel for themselves, their identity, which is not just physical, it's neural. Now, as we begin to connect those dots, I say to you, the brain is the body. Doc Stay Live, stay tuned. I hope you enjoy this episode. Human System Science, the new frontier in addressing the crisis of self. Human System Science represents an innovative approach to addressing complex challenges faced by individuals and societies. By focusing on improving sense and receive path functions through the study of brain, body, and sense connections, this emerging field seeks to enhance processes to inform the brain, discipline the body, and focus the senses. 
Human Systems Science emphasizes the significance of understanding relationships, dynamics, and patterns within self, other people, and environments. This perspective fosters holistic solutions and encourages collaboration across fields of human, cognitive, and behavior sciences. Effects of damage to sensing and receiving pathways. Disruption of a child's sensory pathways can alter communication within brain, body, and sense events, often causing visible pain or sadness. Recognizing shifts in contact and interaction. Observing how children interact with their surroundings, whether with care or indifference, offers important clues about their internal state and needs. Dr. Slayton Live, Advancing Mental Health and Self-Awareness Through Human Systems Science. Dr. Slayton Live, recognized as the brain talker, is dedicated to advancing solutions for some of society's most enduring challenges. Family Decline School Failure Delinquency Insufficient Employable Skills Poverty Core Approach this program emphasizes reinforcing networks within the home, school, neighborhood, and workplace utilizing human system science with the aim of enhancing each child's mental health and self-awareness. Guiding Principles Neural Systems of Self, Investigating the Intricate Relationships Between the Brain, Body, and Senses Brain Talk Understanding the mechanisms of brain communication and strategies for interpreting and responding effectively. Reflective storytelling. Analyzing both external and internal events affecting the brain, body, and senses to inform crisis management and foster self-awareness. Supporting research and educational framework. Extensive field research underpins this initiative, encompassing 30 years of engagement with parents and children affected by America's drug epidemics. Key Educational and Scientific Initiatives Education and Science – How the Body Lives, How the Brain Learns, How the Human System Thinks, How Human Systems Research Responds, 2009 Education and Science – The Information Processing Age – the Learning Parent and Child in Crisis, 2010. Help to improve California's public schools with community-based learning for children, youths, and young adults and human system science for parents, teachers, and health and human service professionals. Featuring the Dr. Slayton Live series and the 2011 to 2012 pilot Merced Building Human Assets Project, 2012. Education and Science, in the best interest of the child asterisk a human systems research investigation for addressing children who come from a family suffering from substance abuse 2016 the brain's body help to improve brain body and sense events 2022 brain talk 2023 dr slayton live reflective storytelling understanding the crisis of self 2024 Human System Science, in the Best Interest of the Child's Mental Health and Self-Awareness, 2025. Live, the Brain's Body Podcast at 11 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. September 14, 2025, Dr. Slayton Live, The Brain's Body, The Ultimate Experience on YouTube at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Verified Book Review Dr. Slayton breaks down how brain talk can be used to help kids pause, observe, and process what they're feeling. And I liked how Dr. Slayton doesn't treat kids like problems to be fixed, but people to be understood. Remember, the journey to greatness begins with a single step. Embrace the possibilities, seize the moment, and let your dreams take flight. Together, we can achieve the extraordinary. Your future starts now.